What's up you guys, it's King. If you want to know how to draw lips, then this video is for you. If you're going for an angle, use the first guideline I'm drawing here. First, you need a horizontal line that curves down just a little on both sides, then a vertical line that curves outward depending on the way that you want your lips to be facing. Next is the bottom lip. The farther away it is from the first line, the bigger the lip will be. And now the upper lip. So you're going to be putting in the cupid's bow here. Same rule with the line distance and the lip size. Normally the upper lip is smaller, so keep that in mind. The other guidelines are easier to work with, so if you want, just pause the video here and copy them now. We'll work on those later. The first thing to do with the lips is to take note of the way that your vertical line is curving. If it curves to the right, the left side slightly swoops down towards the corner of the mouth. And then the right side of the lip curves down like this. Now that the bottom lip stops about a millimeter closer to the center line than the top lip, it'll come down to the middle and swoop up to meet the top lip on the other side. Draw about a centimeter long line coming from where that lip ends that doesn't exactly meet the rest of the lip like I did here. Next, to finish using our guidelines, at the point where the vertical and horizontal lines cross, make a curved line downward that swoops back up and fades out. Then bring the edge of the bottom lip to curve around and meet the curve underneath where it fades and have that side of the top lip meet the edge at the bottom. Now you can erase all the guidelines. Here's the easy part. The bottom lip is darker at the bottom and has highlights near where the lips separate. So we're going to shade those accordingly. If you want, you can add creases to the lips, but it isn't always necessary. The top lip is darker in the edges and it will be at the middle and at the top of the cupid's bow. You can blend out your shading with either your finger or a blending stump or a piece of paper folded to a point. For the outside of the mouth, follow my shading here for the cupid's bow and the chin area. For the side view of the lips, if you've already copied the guidelines, start from here at the upper lip, making a mountain-like shape to the edge of the lip. For the bottom lip, it comes from directly under where that line ends and stops right where the line on the right starts going down. The next step is dependent on whether the person is smiling, frowning, or neutral. If you want it neutral, then just skip to the next step. For frowns, start from the corner of the mouth and shade in a triangle like what I'm doing here, which is more of a straight face than a frown. But for more serious frowns, just make this shape a little longer. For smiles, mirror the same triangle shape and have it point upwards instead of down. Next, which is pretty simple, we're going to be working on the shadows. There will be one on the bottom edge of the lips moving down towards the chin and the highlighted area closer to the upper lip, exactly like in the first set of lips. Add creases in the lips if you want, but follow the shading I do here and that should be self-explanatory. Starting on the front view of the lips, Draw the cupid's bow in between the tops of the two upper circles and then the line swooping down on both sides of the upper lip. 
Now the bottom lip is the same as how we did the first set of lips, making sure to touch underneath the three bottom circles. Drawing a line over the outer circles that meets a little under the top of the middle circle will give you the separation between the lips. Now here's where you can switch it up a little. If you want the mouth closed, then you only need this one line here. But if you want it open like I did, then a simple arch over the previous line will work, like this. If you want the mouth open more, then you can spread the arch further across the bottom lip like this. For the shading, the bottom of both lips are dark as well as dark areas at the corners of the top lip with highlights at the top of the both of them. And of course you can add creases to them but it isn't always necessary. But yeah, that's how I normally sketch lips. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments as well as if you want me to draw anything else. Thank you for watching and remember this, no matter what, keep drawing. You'll never know when you might need to draw something. King out.